Welcome to a game show edition of RGN where we shine the spotlight on Badger Punch Games' debut Commodore Amiga game, Roguecraft. Roguecraft is a modern day roguelike game where you take on the role of Zendar the Explorer, an adventurer seeking a fabled artifact within the dark and dangerous dungeons of Mordekun. The game screen is attractively presented in an isometric view, with an auto map located in the top right corner of the screen and your player stats in the top left side corner. Game controls are simple as they can get in Roguecraft. To collect an item, simply walk over the top of it and it will be added to your inventory as long as you have space for it. To find an enemy, you simply walk into them and the game handles the outcome of each combat encounter. Potions can be found throughout the game with three different types to collect. The green is always a healing potion that restores your health to full. But the nature of the red and blue potions are randomised with each game and you won't know what they do until you collect them and try them out. The potion effects available include getting drunk which impairs your movement for a while, enemy freeze, instant enemy kill, turning enemies into chickens and a temporary upgrade to your player strength stats. To use a potion in your inventory, you simply long press the joystick button and select the one you want to use at the lower left hand corner of the screen. Hearts can also be collected that will restore your health to full. Roguecraft offers the choice of three different playable characters, with the warrior being the easiest to play as he has the most initial health points, with the rogue having the ability to use teleport spells and the wizard being the hardest difficulty with the least initial health points but with the ability to fire off magic missiles. Every play of Roguecraft will provide a unique experience as the levels are procedurally generated, allowing for repeated play sessions that you will not get bored with even when you've completed the game before. The aim of each level is to find a key that will unlock the exit portal, allowing you to move on to the next level. There are 10 levels in total but you don't want to be heading for the exit at the first opportunity to do so. To be successful at Roadcraft, you'll need to build up your player stats. To do this, you want to explore all the rooms within the level so that you can kill all the enemies. After you kill a specified number of enemies, a permanent player upgrade will become available. A blue diamond to increase strength, and a red gem to increase maximum health. As you progress through the dungeon, you'll meet ever more challenging monsters and you really need to manage your player health levels before doing battle with some of the tougher enemies, otherwise you'll easily meet your demise. Roadcraft is a highly polished piece of production with some fantastic atmospheric music soundtrack and wonderful organic pixelated graphic styling. The simple nature of the gameplay when mixed with its slight strategic elements and its degree of uncertainty due to the randomization element had me playing the game constantly over the past couple of weeks. It is a fun and addictive gaming experience. Roguecraft will run fine on a stock Amiga 1200, otherwise an ECS Amiga with 2 meg chip RAM or ECS 1 meg chip plus an additional 1 meg of other RAM is required. Roguecraft is being distributed through Thalamus Digital Publishing with the physical disc edition being opened up for pre-orders prior to its full release that will include a digital purchase option.